and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Lottie and today I'm filming a video which I wanted to film for ages and today is finally the day I also got ready the first time in forever and I don't think it looks too ugly so I just wanted to take this opportunity to film like as many videos as I can so 2022 has officially arrived and everyone is making goals and plans and I'm a person who loves to make goals and plans so I wanted to start learning languages this year again, which is not that bad, but I want to learn four and this will be kind of difficult. Have I told you what we're actually doing today? I don't, I don't think so. So we're setting up my language journal pages in Notion today for my four languages, which I want to prioritize this year. So we have Korean, French, Chinese and Italian. Yeah. Okay, so the first the first step to not get overwhelmed with four languages is to set up some goals, plans, um step by step routines, I guess. In my notion setup for this year, I kind of had a mind to do a language journal, but this is what it looks like right now. So I kind of you know, I have my priorities. So my first priority is Korean, then there's Chinese, and Italian and French are kind of the same priority, I guess. Um, and then I did like some goals, I guess, for um, yeah, all of these languages. Also, we have not the beginning of the year. Like it is the 17th of January. And I can tell you, I did not do anything of these, but it's fine. It's fine. Right? Okay, so I guess let's start. I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's just start, I guess, with like um, maybe like a general page, and then we can like specify things for each language. So. Maybe we should just start with, I guess, like the things we really want to have in here. So we do like headers. Um, so we want to have obviously like goals. I'm blind. We want to have goals. We want to have like um, a routine. Um, maybe a table for like um, like tracking like what what did I do today I guess and for some languages I think it would be beneficial to have like another table for like vocabs um, for example I think it will be very beneficial for like Chinese so like for Chinese I have some problems not with like the characters like I can recognize and like um, learn I guess the characters pretty good but I am not very good in remembering like the sounds of it because there's like nothing that tells me what this sound is about um, so I think in Chinese this would be like very beneficial because I can like just write you know the sounds out and okay I did some uh, adjustments I guess so this is I think what the general outline will look like it is not cute at all I have to change it in a second but I worked a little bit also on the general language journal page so you know I did some tables here. Um, I think I will just, you know, do the actual information inside this page now uh, and then I will be right back and I think I will give you a little language journal notion tour if I like it. If not, um, you will not even see this video. Hey, I think I did it. Uh, I was shortly interrupted by TikTok. But I managed to get out of it and I finished the page. Okay, so 
this is what I did in a quite short amount of time. I tried to make it look cute, but also make it functional. So it's like not the most aesthetic like page you will ever see on uh, Notion, but I think it will be functional. Um, I can always change things. This is the good thing about Notion. You can always change things. Uh, anyways, um, I am multitasking. I can give my cat love and also show you my Notion page. So we have my language journal page right here. I just chose a like, painting um, which comes with like Notion. So I just repositioned it that you can just see the sky, which I think fits the vibe. Then I put a quote here, um, change your language and you change your thoughts, which I think is very beautiful. We have Italian, French, Chinese and Korean. And all of these pages are looking quite similar inside as uh, I showed you before. So I just put some photos here. I actually wanted to make it a little bit more personal and put like my own photos because uh, I was at this place and I also was at this place but the pictures were just too big for some reason so I have the languages here and then I put just priorities don't ask me why I put a vampire here um, I kind of accidentally pressed keys on my keyboard and this little guy appeared so I thought he will just stay there so my priorities uh, I want to focus on Korean the most which is funny because I did not study Korean this year at all. I kind of focused on Chinese and Italian um, the last couple of weeks because Chinese is the language which I like am enjoying right now the most. But I really want to make more progress in Korean, um, Chinese obviously and then like Italian and French are on this. When we are going down here we have just the what did I do today um, table. I showed you so I will do like the date here so for example we're the 17th of January so the topic what what did I do like for example I did grandma woke up which language did I learn this like in which language did I did I did I study like which language did I study so like for example Korean and here I can just write like notes uh, very simple when we are scrolling down, we have time I studied and vocabs. I really need to start picking different um, titles because it kind of confuses me, but it's kind of the same as uh, up here. So we have the date, then I want to put the time in minutes, the language I studied, and again, notes if I want to write something down. I want to track the average time I um, has studied so this is like the overall thingy and inside each of these uh, pages we have just the um yeah time i studied for each of the languages if this makes any sense so time i studied today and vocabs because vocabs are i think vocabs are the most annoying part about learning languages but it's the most necessary part in my opinion because you need words to communicate so this is kind of a habit tracker i guess so i want to put here the date um, on which day i studied the vocab and here i have just the languages um, oh here's the, the arrow again so sorry so i can just see on like one when I'm just looking at this table, I can see directly, okay, I studied at this day French and Korean vocabs. I haven't studied Chinese vocabs in a week, so we need to get to this. So this is just the purpose of this table, I guess. And this is already the like page, very simple, very simple, not so aesthetically pleasing. I tried my best to make it look pretty, but it is, it, it is functional, okay? It is functional. Let me quickly go into these pages. So we have Italian here. We have the, what did I do today? Uh, like link from the language journal homepage. And this is like just, I filtered it. So it's just for Italian, same as time I studied today. These are just for like Italian. So I have like an overview just for the language. 
And on the right we have my goals. I want to reach A2 this year in Italian, which I think, I don't know, Italian is fun and it is kind of similar to French, so um, I never like I don't have any experience in Italian at all, so we will see. Hopefully I can do that. Um, okay, so my daily goals are like learning 10 vocabs a day, which I think would be very good in like language learning process. Um, so next we have my daily goals which is 10 vocabs a day, which I think in language learning perspective is very good, but in real life perspective, it can get hard sometimes to learn 10 vocabs a day for like five languages or like four languages. So we will see how this is going, but we have uh, the daily goals and after that the weekly goals. So I want to um, do like one new topic in Duolingo because I I know it's a little bit, uh, Duolingo is a little bit controversial. I don't think you can go very far with an app like being like, fluent, but I think it is very helpful when you're starting out with a language. So, um, because there is uh, like very real life topics, I think, um, and very basic vocabs and basic grammar. I am very enjoying using it for um, Italian and Chinese. So one new topic in Duolingo, which means like one like new vocab chapter, I guess. And I really want to write three dialogues a week just to practice my grammar and vocabs. I find right now that writing dialogues and speaking, like practicing the dialogues um, is one of my favorite things right now, so I really want to do that. I did a mistake here, it's fine. And down here we have just the notebook I showed you before, it is nothing in here. I just wanted to have a place where I can practice stuff like digitally. Um, I have a link to my habit tracker so I can like tick off the days I actually studied the language. And I also kind of thought I want to do like um, a link to my entertainment page. So my um, entertainment page is basically like movies, shows, um, K-dramas, C-dramas, um, anime, things like that. And I think it will be maybe a little bit beneficial because I want to also start um, watching shows in the target language so I still need to make a little bit of research on that but I think it will be cool to maybe like not advanced movies or shows because I could never understand that but maybe like kids shows are good so I want to do some research in that so my entertainment link is right here and this is actually what uh, most of my pages are looking like so when we're going in French it is looking exactly the same. The goals are a little bit different, so I would like to read um, B1 this year in French. I studied French four years in high school and it was a nightmare for me. I hated it so much, I was just not in the right place mentally to learn a new language in this environment and it was hell. And I hated the language so, so much, but I kind of like thought it would be cool to you know pick it up again and I really enjoy it. I enjoy that I still remember a lot of stuff and I don't have to start from scratch. So this is very positive and I think French will be just like very beneficial in general to know. So reaching B1 would be very great. Chinese is actually a little bit different because I showed you the vocab thingy. So. Um, we have the what did I do today, the vocab thing, someone wrote me, um, the vocab column and the time I study today. So the vocabs are just, um, I did not do that, wait. Okay, so the vocabs are just uh, yeah, very simple, so I want to do like the 
uh, yeah, character from Chinese in here, the pronunciation as well as the translation. So I can like practice writing on a keyboard in Chinese. And my goals are reaching HDK2. For me, it is kind of advanced because I have no experience at all in Chinese. Um, I'm starting from scratch, but I really like the language and I would really love to speak it. Okay, and then last but not least, we have Korean, which is looking exactly the same as the other pages. Um, we have the two tables right here. I have my goals, so reaching one, reaching. So I have my goals right here, reaching B1 in Korean, which is a very like. It is an advanced goal, to say at least. Also, again, the entertainment thingy here is very exciting because I really want to start getting into dramas again. And I actually think this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had, I had fun. I had really fun filming this. I haven't filmed anything in so long and I kind of missed it, not gonna lie. So I'm very excited to study the languages and I want to, you know, do some study with me videos in the future because then it will kind of help me be accountable. Tell me what are you planning for the new year? Are you starting a new language? Are you continuing studying a language? Which language are you studying? It would be so fun to like read that. I really set my expectations really high for myself again, but I'm trying to not do that anymore. I just want to have fun. I just want to enjoy the languages I'm learning. It is just, they are just beautiful languages. And it is not fair that you're stressing yourself so much to learn something you're doing for fun. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Don't stress yourself too much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.